Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to try out the Apple's new product on iOS 18 beta 2 and macOS Akiya called iPhone Mirroring. Yeah, and that allows you to actually control your iPhone from your MacBook. Yeah, that's not like screen mirroring where you just cast your screen and create, create a kind of video duplicate. This one actually lets you access your apps and functions and everything your apps can do through your MacBook's display. Yeah that's crazy we are going to use this to game because who doesn't want to game on their mac that's right all right hit the bell right now all right so this is our macbook right now yeah let me show you how iphone mirroring works all you have to do is just click the iphone mirroring in the dock of the mac and it asks for your password and it asks us to unlock our phone yep and now that I've unlocked it and it's no longer in use, try again. Now we should be alright. Alright, so here we are the home screen of our iPhone. Here you can see it's crazy. The trackpad literally works on... Yeah, the trackpad works. So let's try out a game. Alright, let's try out a simple match in Clash Royale. Yeah, this should be fun. So, ideally, we have to, you know, use our fingers on our phone, but since this is a Mac, we're going to have to use our trackpad or our mouse to set. So far, so good. It's going pretty well. Hmm, that was nice. Trust me, I am currently at a very big disadvantage. You can never compare using fingers to exactly. And here the trouble comes. Okay, so far so good, I'm still in. Alright, that's one for us. Uh, let's take the second tower. That was some nice defense. Looks like we've got trouble. Okay. Uh, it seems my house is going to go down. Well, I should definitely take the other house then. Okay, things are in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> we won with a handicap. <laughs> we won. 
that was incredible and you can see how smoothly it ran i never experienced even one single lag for something that's still in a beta 2 all right so which other game are you trying out clash of clans mm, nice landscape mode okay uh for clash of clans we are simply going to yeah, I barely played this game, but I've gone a bit advanced, or I could say that, yeah. Town Hall level 12, not too bad. Uh, oh, I don't have a clan anymore. I got, I kind of got kicked out, so I can see. Wait, do we have troops? Yeah, we've got troops. Mind you, our iPhone screen is currently turned off. Like it's basically just somewhere on my bed right now, and I'm basically accessing its full power right on my Mac. Let's deploy our Queen Archers with our healers. Alright, I don't need to stay calm right now. Yeah, just stay calm, just stay calm. Yep. Uh, I'm not really good at strategy, but Let's just see how it ends. Yeah, seems everything I have has been deployed. And we are currently out two stars. And the village seems pretty formidable. Yeah. But seems we might get three stars. Yeah. We still have a lot of troops left. More than I even expected. So much for defense. <laughs> hmm. Almost there, coming through 94, 96, 97, 98, 99, and where is the last one? Oh, that expo. And the expo is pretty much gone. 100. Yay! That's some nice loot. So we won in Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. <laughs> Not bad. And you can also see that it was quite smooth. Although I wouldn't advise you to play a competitive match on your Mac. Trust me, you get your ass kicked. Alright, so should we try Call of Duty or Brawl Stars? Let's just check out Brawl Stars. I know we can't play this game. Yeah, this is more complicated. Ooh. Let's go into training mode. Mm. What the hell is training mode? Mm, let's check out Broad TV. Yeah, and this is pretty compatible with almost every app on your iPhone. Even the App Store works, even Snapchat, even Instagram. Like, 
you could just keep your iPhone aside and use your MacBook to take over. But it still depends on the iPhone's power, the iPhone's RAM and resources to even run. So it's like using your iPhone without actually using your iPhone. Let's try out Code of Duty. That is a crazy one, but. <laughs> If only we had, yeah, if you connect a gamepad to your device, you actually can run Call of Duty. If only Apple would let you, you know, adjust the window. But right now, you can't even resize it. It's just like this. Obviously, I can't even imagine playing with your mouse, so... Or oh, maybe I can. Let's try out the training match. Uh, this is beautiful. It's very neat like okay how many frames do i support yeah it shows ultra but obviously my laptop is 60 frames per second is a macbook air yeah let's see what we have here wow okay <laughs> that is something else the problem is going to come when it's time to shoot. Yeah. But it seems like I can only do heat fire right now. You know what? We will just kill like two people and get out of this game. This is unplayable. You will need a gamepad if you don't even have a chance. Wow, that guy is a rotten shot. Ugh, damn it. You know what? I should probably try out this weapon. Okay. Ah, uh, recall. <laughs> you know what? I just try a grenade. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, that was a crazy experience, believe me. Alright, so obviously you can see it works, yeah. That is without a doubt, it actually does work. Yeah, we could try out pretty much any app. Let's try AliExpress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they all work. I can even scroll with my trackpad on AliExpress, yeah. Works. So. Well, I guess it does what Apple wants it to do. Right now, you can't really access the control center and you know, notification center, but pretty much the rest are working perfectly. And trust me, if a beta can do all this, then I, I imagine the future of this. Yeah, we haven't seen nothing yet.